What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel, Stick Shift Studios. And today I am very excited to share with you my review of the Hot Wheels Car Culture Team Transport Mix A vehicles. And these cars were highly anticipated. Uh, I've been looking forward to this set for months. So it's very cool to finally uh, see them for myself. And I had to say, um, you know, opening them and seeing them out of the package, uh, they look amazing. And honestly, you're not doing it justice if you're just gonna keep these in the package. You know, when I saw that these were uh, revealed back in November, I, I knew they were gonna be awesome. As a kid, I always liked the Hot Wheels that had um, semi-trucks to transport the cars. So for me, I knew this was gonna be a really cool set. Good luck to all the collectors out there that um, are trying to find these in the stores. I have a feeling that uh, it's gonna be incredibly difficult. I think it's gonna be like Japan Historics too, where they're just not gonna be anywhere. So the day has finally come. I know a lot of you have been uh, anticipating this set for uh, many months, and just as I have. So let's open it up. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. It says contains four pieces. Okay, and we're in. Um, first thing I'm gonna say is, I was expecting a, uh, a much larger box, so uh, that's interesting. Um, they literally just put them end on end. Slide them out. Car number one is the Porsche 356 Speedster and the Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup and uh, there's two of these to a case. Transporter number two is the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX paired with the Secura Sprinter and the Secura Sprinter is a new casting and it's not a licensed casting but it looks very nice. Number three is the 1969 Nissan Skyline van with the carry-on. And I think the concept is really cool. Uh, you know, having a vehicle transporter with a vehicle that uh, matches with the same livery. I will note that the uh, card art is really amazing for this set. Um, Hot Wheels knocked it out of the park. It looks awesome. You know, the illustrations are extremely well done. So here's the back of the package for anyone that needs the, the UPC. So now I'll open them up and get them on the turntable. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. So this is the Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup. And I have to say, out of the package, I mean, wow, it's very glossy. It's incredibly detailed. Um, first thing that stands out to me is the uh, loading ramp has um, a texture to it and it shimmers. It looks kind of metallic. I think it has a little bit of a texture for helping the car get on it. So that looks very awesome. And uh, the T1 pickup is uh, painted silver and the top of the bed moves up and down. To unlatch it, you have to kind of push it down a little bit and then move it up and then it will move. So it slides out and it slides down. Um, it's very notchy and it's a little bit difficult to uh, move it past the notch. 
So the vehicle that it's transporting is the Porsche 356 Speedster. It's a very iconic vehicle and it looks very nice in this dark metallic silver. It has a red interior and it has white details on the hood and engine cover with uh, some striping and it says 356 on the side. It has Fuchs wheels, F-U-C-H. Because these are car culture, uh, the cars are incredibly detailed. There's tampos everywhere, front, rear, sides, and the tops of the cars. And what's awesome is, you know, it's got the turn signals, it has the headlights, it has, you know, the racing number on the side. What's really cool about this car is they actually included a old black license plate. And there's the California license plate. It says 356 mag on it and it has the outlaw script above it. So this was the car that was designed uh, by Magnus Walker. So this is kind of his set. And one other thing about the Volkswagen Transporter I wanted to mention is it has officially licensed 1552 wheels and these are brand new wheel design. So that looks awesome, they look great. And so essentially you should be able to drive the 356 onto the ramp. Both cars feature metal bases. And I did a really good job with this 356 because the bumpers are metal, but they look like, you know, real bumpers from, you know, when the car was new. So it's incredibly detailed, looks great. Um, I've been hearing some rumors that some people think that the 356 is, um, the scale of it is too big. It's bigger than the Volkswagen Transporter. And looking at it, yeah, it does look a little bit bigger. Um, so scale might not be 100% correct. Here's the Magnus Walker 1971 Porsche 911. And when both cars are next to each other, the 356 Speedster does look larger, significantly larger. And in real life, the 356 is a smaller vehicle than a classic 911. So that's very, very interesting. And I can't resist. I want to see what the 911 looks like on the transporter. So the second team transporter is the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX and the Secura Sprinter. And the, well, the Secura Sprinter is a new unlicensed casting and it looks very period correct for a box truck that you would see in Japan in the late 60s, early 70s. And this car has the Goretti livery and the car feature, the, the truck features a um, metal base and a metal cab and the, um, the cargo portion of the truck is plastic, which is a little unfortunate, but um, I think that's maybe a good idea. That way, if the car's inside, it won't chip if it hits or rolls around any. Um, so it features a opening and closing door, has the real rider tires, and it has orange stripe on the cab. The cab is very detailed. It has all the correct lights. It even has tampos for the um, windshield wipers. It has Goretti tampoed where the license plate is. It has the Goretti logo uh, on the tailgate, as well as um, little tail lamps. Very, very hard to see. When you open the car, 
there's a plastic insert. There's a rubber floor in there, so that helps the car stay secure. So that's nice to know. The Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX, it made its debut in the Japanese Historic 2 set. And I think they hit it out of the park uh, with this white and the you know, subtle gritty stripe going down the hood and trunk is very nice. And you know, it has all their correct uh, emblems. The Laurel emblem, for example, has the gritty tampoed on the trunk and fenders. It has 71 for a racing number. Um, it's offset, which is interesting, gives it a little bit different look. Um, and it has you know, headlights tampoed as well. And it looks very good. I think the paint quality is you know, it's better than just your regular car. I mean, I don't know, the, the white looks very, very deep and yeah, it's just gloss white, but it, it looks awesome. Um, very well done. And having it rotating um, in front of the transporter, um, both vehicles look like they, you know, go together very, very well. To load the car in, Drive up the ramp, place it inside. That's uh, set number two. And yeah, it turned out really well. Looks awesome. Set number three is the 1969 Nissan Skyline van, or should I say wagon. And the transporter is, is called Carry On. But I think Hotbow's knocked it out of the park with this transporter. I mean, it looks awesome. The ad van livery just is perfect for these two vehicles. It looks so good with this uh, gloss black with red striping. It looks very mean, menacing. Chrome rims suit it well. And it has a uh, plastic load area on the top with some indents for the rear wheels. And it has a texture, kind of like a diamond plate on top. But yeah, it looks really, really nice. Uh, like I said, all these models, they look great. It shines very well. They're very glossy, which is something you don't really know when it's in the package. And so that's very nice. Um, honestly, now that I'm looking at it a little more closely, it looks like the top of the fenders. It looks like the top of the fenders on the truck I don't know, there's not, there's the paint's a little speckled there, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's kind of nitpicking. So the car to go with it is the Nissan Skyline van from 1969, and it is a highly detailed wagon. Um, it made its debut in the cargo carriers line, and it looks very awesome in this uh, black with uh, red stripes and it has tampos around the windows in silver to look like chrome so that's very nice. Um, it even has the uh, mirrors on the front fenders and yeah it's it's highly detailed it looks very nice it has a great stance looks awesome it has a red interior and a red cargo area in the back too. So that accents with the red, very, very nice. And now we'll see what they look like together. So as it goes around, um, it looks very nice. Both of them together. So yeah, I was highly anticipating this set. I think um, my two favorites are the Carry On and the Secura Sprinter. Both of those combinations I think turned out really nice. Looks great. Uh, I know this set is going to be incredibly hard to find, so hopefully you guys find it. Well, thank you for watching my review of the Hot Wheels Team Transport Mix A. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Stick Shift Studios. Be sure to hit that notification bell. Please watch more of my Hot Wheels review videos. I would greatly appreciate it.